Kirsten Haas, Director of Membership here at the Greater Reading Chamber Alliance. And I'm joined today by he Deb Hefner, our Business Outreach Director. So welcome, Deb. Oh, thank you for having me today. So why don't you tell our viewing audience a little bit about what you do here at the GRCA? Okay. Uh, well, I happen to think I have the best job <laughs> ever uh, because I get to help our existing Berks County companies as in my role here at GRCA. Uh, primarily, I outreach to our manufacturing companies because if they are doing well, uh, all the service industries, everything else will follow that uh, economy. However, any type of company that needs assistance, um, I will reach out to and help if they reach out to me or if someone makes me aware. But again, proactively, it's reaching out to those manufacturers. Excellent. So tell us a little bit about your journey. How did you get into this kind of work? Hmm. So that's interesting. Um, you know, I, I have a diverse background, but it honestly came that um, a little over 15 years ago, I decided that I wanted to do something at the end of the day that made me feel very good. And, and highly valued. You know, working for Corporate America was all well and good, right. but I wanted something at the end of the day that I felt impacted my community. Um, and so at that point I started looking and a new economic development agency had just started up here in okay. Berks County and I found out about it and uh, reached out and obtained a position. And from there, it was just growth within um, to get to this point where now I get to help our existing businesses. Excellent. And you were with the Greater Reading, Greater Reading Economic Project, right? Right. All right. Okay. Correct. And so now that they've merged and they're now part of the GRCA, has your role changed at all? Um, a little bit. You know, building Berks was something new as kind of marrying economic development and the chamber together this past year. So that program was something new for me. Great. And can you tell us a little bit about what Building Berks is? I know it's one of the GRCA's uh, new signature events, uh, but why don't you tell us a little bit more about what Building Berks is yes. and why it's important? So we wanted to recognize the great development that's happening here in Berks County and to celebrate the construction and all of the companies that are part of that development, whether it's uh, the contractor or the engineer um, or the end user who's um, going to reside in that location. So last fall, we had our first annual Building Berks event and we put out a call for nominations and we were thrilled with year one. Um, we ended up with 30 projects being nominated uh, we had a judging panel who went through those nominations and we awarded a total of 15 uh, um, awards throughout Berks County for everything from office to manufacturing to retail to neighborhood revitalization to different housing components. So it was an exciting program and we're very excited to be doing that again in Excellent. 2019. It's just a great way to celebrate that development and to let people know about what's happening. Because you know, sometimes people say, oh, there's nothing happening. Right. You know, right. there's nothing being built or there's no nothing being manufactured in Berks County. Of course, you know, I jump right in and go, right. well, <laughs> we manufacture <laughs> toothbrushes and wheelbarrows and all kinds of food and beverage and batteries and plastics and et cetera. So if you, with all that in mind, what is one of your main missions for 2019? Um, my main mission for 2019 is to reach out to our existing manufacturers and see how they're doing. And then we align them with resources to help them. If there's, it, it can be that they need to expand and they need financing or they need to find a facility to expand into. It could be that they're having a challenge. Maybe they're not finding the skilled work set that they need. Okay. Uh, maybe they're running into an issue with their municipality. It can really run the gamut. Um, and so reaching out to them, finding out what's currently going on, helping them with those items, but then also continuing to be there and be a resource to them. Right. So companies, when we started this initiative back in 2013, 
There are companies that I still speak with from 2013 wow. on an almost annual basis and sometimes multiple times throughout the year because they'll reach out that, you know, Deb, I'm having an issue or a concern. Um, is this something you can help me with? Or I've got an opportunity to go into a foreign market. You know, how, what support is there if I'm looking to enter Israel right. or Peru or anywhere? Wow, that's, that's fascinating. And I think that really speaks to the idea too that at the JRCA, relationships are key for our members and for all the other businesses uh, with whom we work. So what is one of the most important things you would want someone watching this to know about what you do? Mm -hmm. um, it's that I'm there to help, regardless of what item it is, if you're a business owner or if you work for a business that you know needs support, encourage them to reach out to me. Um, I, Truly, I am here to help. Um, there's no fees associated with my time. It's all about making the company as successful as it can be here in Berks County. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for that, Deb. Again, Deb Hefner, the Business Outreach Director with the GRCA. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you, Kirsten.